Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a wedding website using Web Starts. Some of the key features that you'll need for your wedding website are a form where your guests can RSVP and a photo gallery where you can show off some of your engagement photos. Let's jump in and start building. Click Get Started, it's free. Next, go to the Categories sidebar and choose the Weddings category. Here you'll see a variety of templates to choose from. I'm going to choose this first one, so I click Select. Next, it's time to sign up for an account. So I just quickly enter my email address and my name. and choose a password. I verify that I'm human. And then I click sign up. I don't want to save my password for now. In this step, you're choosing a web address for your website. You can choose a free .webstarts.com domain. For example, you can say my special day.webstarts.com and that's free or you can go over to this box and enter in a top level domain name like my special day.com if you choose to use a top level domain name like a .com or .net or .org you will be required to upgrade to a paid plan before that domain name is connected to your website if you just want to deal with this all later click choose later but I'm going to click continue. Oh, and it looks like my desired web address is not available. So if that happens to you, then just choose a different one and click continue. And when you first log into the dashboard, you're going to see this video pop up. I recommend you take a few moments to watch this video. It shows you all about how to edit your pages and get around in web starts. I'm going to close that out because, of course, I'm already familiar with it. I'm ready to begin editing the pages of my site, so I hover over the thumbnail of my website and I click Edit Site. This loads the Web Starts page editor, and in the Web Starts page editor, I can click on any element and I can drag and drop those elements where I'd like them to appear but I can also double click on elements to replace them. So for example, if I wanted to replace that image with one from my local computer, I just double click on it and then I find the image I'd like to replace it with on my local computer. Let me see if I can find a nice wedding style image here. Now my file is uploading. And once that's completely uploaded, I can click on it and then I can click insert file to replace it. Now I can also choose an image from the image library by searching by keyword, category, or even by color. And I can connect a Facebook account and pull images from there. So there are a lot of different places that you can connect to Web Starts to grab images. Let's go over to the RSVP page and take a look at our RSVP form. Before I do that, I go ahead and save. Now double clicking on the RSVP form, I can see that I can add various fields to my form. So for example, if I wanted a paragraph of text, I would click on that and then it's added to my RSVP form. I click on that field and notice I can change the label that's on that field. So I could say, for example, tell us more. Or I can delete that field by clicking on the red delete icon. And I can do that with any field that appears. Under the form settings tab, there's a few things that you need to be aware of. Number one, make sure you enter a good email so that when people submit their form, it's sent to the proper email address. You can also add additional email addresses by clicking here. You can change the alignment of the form by clicking here. And you can choose a confirmation page by choosing it from this drop down. So for example, if somebody submits a form and then you'd like to take them to a page that says 
thank you for submitting the form. Somebody will get back to you soon or whatever you'd like to tell them in a message. You can do that by choosing that page from the dropdown. Of course, you would have to create that page in the Web Starts Editor as well. So those are all things that you need to keep in mind. If you don't choose a confirmation page, the person will simply receive a notification indicating that their form was submitted. And of course, the information will be transmitted to the email address that you provided. You can choose to enable CAPTCHA if spam ever becomes an annoyance to you. Sometimes forms get filled out by bots on the internet, and that can be a little annoying if that happens. Just make sure to enable CAPTCHA, and that will verify that they're human before they can submit the form. And here, you can drop the person right into a mailing list, which is a fantastic feature because if you do that, you can then use the email marketing app, which you can find on the Web Starts dashboard to send follow up and broadcast emails to everyone who is in that mailing list. Here you can view your form submissions by date. So you just choose a date range. For example, if I wanted to choose the 1st through the 15th and then click view submissions, I don't have any submissions, but if I had, they would have been displayed. Once you're ready to update your form, just click the update form button and then your form is updated. You can also do things like change the font or style of your form just by using the various formatting features of Web Starts. Let's take a look at the photos page. If you jump over to the photos page, you'll notice that there's a photo gallery on this page. So all these photos are grouped together in what we call a gallery and you can add photos to that gallery just by double clicking on it, clicking add images and then choosing those photos once again either from photos that you've previously uploaded, upload new photos from your local computer, the image search and connecting your Facebook account. You can also rearrange the photos just by dragging them in a different order. You can delete photos by clicking on the delete option. And then there's even a place where you can enter a title and description that will be displayed on each photo. Once you're happy with your changes, you just click update and then your photo gallery is updated on your page. So if you have your own photos, you'd want to upload those to the photo gallery and then update it. And then they would be displayed rather than these placeholder photos that come with this template. You can also change the style of the photo gallery by selecting it and then clicking on the style brush. From there, you can customize it even further by clicking the customize style option. So perhaps you wanted those to be circles instead of squares. You can do all of that using the styling options. Whenever you're happy with the changes that you've made to your website, be sure to click save and those changes will be saved and published to the web and you can view that live website by clicking view site. Let's go over to the blog page and see how that works. You can choose to have a blog or not have a blog on your website. A blog can be a fun way to share some of the memories with your family and friends concerning your wedding and engagement. If you don't want to have a blog or any specific page that's included with a template, all you need to do is click on the pages icon, then click the settings cog and the trash can next to the page name and confirm that you would like to delete it. To make your first blog post, double click here and then the blog manager will open up. Next, click new post and then you can add a title, your author name and begin writing your blog post. You can even add images as well as video and of course those work using the file manager in the same way that we previously discussed. If you start writing a blog and you want to come back and finish it later, click save as, save as draft. If you would like to publish your blog, just click publish post and it will be published on your website. Your website looks great, not only on a desktop computer, but also on a mobile device. Here you can see what that looks like. So that is very helpful if you have family and friends that want to RSVP from their mobile phone or just look at some of the great photos that you took. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free wedding website and a lot more.